Yo, what's good guys? It is Riley and welcome back to another Road to Dark Matter video on Cold War. And today guys, I got the DMR-14 gold video. It was my last gun to get gold to unlock diamond tactical rifles. And honestly, this gun is crazy guys. The class setup I'm going to show you guys will have you destroying lobbies. I dropped 122 kills on Nuketown, my highest kill gameplay yet. It's absolutely insane guys. I hit a five on a uh, couple quad feeds like just slaying out you guys are gonna love that gameplay and it's gonna come at the end of the video after i show you guys the absolute best class setup for this gun if you are using it in cold war so without further ado i'm gonna show you guys my best clips with the dmr 14 and i will talk to you at the class setup portion of the video Oh my god. Straight to your account. All I need is your credit card number, three funny digits on the back, and your login to your epic account. That's it. It's as simple as that. See you there, gamers. Ah. I have to go back for you, CJ. I ain't let you on my team. Jesus, man. Alright guys, here we are with the best Cold War DMR-14 TAC rifle setup. Pretty much all those clips you guys just saw was with this setup, other than a few attachments that you unlock later on, but the majority of the clips, I was rocking this setup guys. It's absolutely crazy and I would definitely recommend giving this setup a try if you are using this gun. So to start us off guys, the optic, I am not a fan of the iron sights on this gun. I like to rock the mill stop reflex when I use this, it's a clean red dot. OG Call of Duty Red Dot, and I just like it because I don't like the iron sights. For the barrel, I rock the 20.8 inch Task Force. This is the last barrel you unlock. It's really good, and I just use it because it gives you damage, damage range, bullet velocity. But before I unlock this, I was rocking the 17.1 inch Strike Team. It gives you fire rate and damage, so it's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit of a weaker version. But this attachment is still really good, and you unlock it relatively quick. So throw it on when you get it, and you'll be destroying. For the underbarrel, I rock the Field Agent foregrip just for horizontal and vertical recoil control. Nothing else much to it. I rock the 30 round speed mag. I just feel like it's the perfect amount of bullets. I don't need a lot of bullets with this gun I find. You can get kills in 3-4 shots max. So I like to run this and I like to reload quick. And lastly for the wrap, we have the airborne elastic wrap. You guys are going to see in the gameplay, I did a ton of drop shotting, which is not usually my play style, but it's so good on this game because you need a wrap to be able to drop shot effectively and once you unlock it it's so broken enemies don't expect you to drop shot at all so when you unlock the elastic wrap use it and drop shot you'll be surprised of how many kills you're going to be picking up when you normally wouldn't win the gunfight so that's going to be it for my dmr 14 class setup video guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video at any point in time and if you are new feel free to subscribe we got a ton of guns left on this dark matter grind there's tons of content coming i'm uploading every one to two days so the grind is real guys and i want you to be a part of it so drop a sub if you are new so that's going to be it for the commentary side of things guys enjoy the gameplay like i said it's my best gameplay so far on cold war 122 kills absolutely shredding with this setup guys and i will see you in my next video we got the lmgs next and then yeah we're on to secondaries after the lmgs so take care guys and i will see you in my next video
Oh my god. It's gonna be a 100 bomb for sure.
103 right now. Holy shit, I could drop a lot here. Holy, bro. One twenty one in thirty three, dude. With a five on and a bunch of clips. Unreal, man.